Well, hey guys, is anybody out there? Oh yeah, maybe I should just keep on moving. Oh, uh, I stopped here. I, there was a little, there's a little road shooting off here, off the main trail, and I, there's like a little cabin out here I wanted to go take some pictures at. Um, but got a little mud puddle here. Um, I think I could cross it, probably no problem. I just follow the other tracks this guy laid down here, whoever laid this one down. I just walked it, it's fairly uh, solid, as long as I don't slide off into the these other tracks. But um, maybe I ought to keep on moving along, because see the weather? Yes. The weather. Here come some guys over there, looks like they're headed back. We got lightning and uh, rain coming down over here. And I'm not exactly sure how much further I've got to go, so I don't think I ought to waste any time. I mean, look at the clouds. It's a sign. If it does rain, I basically just have to stop where I'm at. Because <sighs> they say the roads will turn like this. Yeah, it's letting loose over here. So, I'm not going to make it out there to that little cabin. I think you can see it. Let's see. This is the good, uh, brand new video camera I bought. It's a little cheapy, but it's better than my other little cheapy one. So, uh, I think so much for that. I'm going to have to pass on this for right now. Keep on moving. I think it's about 1 o'clock. I've lost track of time. But, um, when I was in... St. George, I notice my clock in the truck doesn't agree with my the clock on my cell phone. And I think um, I'm probably in the, what, mountain time zone? Not exactly sure. It's like an hour ahead. But yeah, I'm going to keep on going. I'm not going to risk sightseeing over here when I, I haven't even arrived at my destination yet. And especially when I see clouds like that. Or actually, you can see it's coming down. And look at this. Looks like it's coming down back there, too. So let's uh, move on out of here. Keep on going and get where I'm supposed to be. Ooh, yeah. It's going to get interesting. Stay tuned. All right, guys. This is what it is. It is what it is, right? I'm, so, I'm this far out. I'm going to keep on going. If it gets too bad, I just got to stop and sit it out. It's coming down, not too bad. I've seen worse than this. Pretty awesome out here though. Beautiful country, look at that. There's a little ranch down there. Yeah, shit, can't see, I got my sunglasses on. Yeah, there's a little ranch down there. See a lot of cattle out here. Um, fortunately for me, I think them clouds are right behind me. Yeah. So I need to get where I'm going. I had the GoPro camera mounted up on the top of the window up here. I had to take it off because I got to run the wipers. I got to see, make sure I don't accidentally drive into a rut, a rain rut or whatever. So this is what it's going to be for a while now. Um, that humming sound is my inverter powering my laptop over here with the uh, GPS. It says I got uh, 41 miles to go. Let's see, I'm gonna have to stop and get a beer somewhere along the line here. Right? Well, can you hear it? It's coming down again. Yeah, coming down good. I think I made it over the hills. Um, yeah, I hope so. The GPS says I still got 27 miles to go. I gotta stay ahead of this storm here. It's fairly dry till right now. This is what it is. Yeah. Well, making a little stop here. Um, had a little rain coming over there. Those big raindrops got a little muddy. Uh, it's kind of like driving in the snow, you know. The truck kind of wants to slide this way and that way and just kind of 
easy on the throttle and just keep your momentum up, keep going. There's a lot of private property sites over there. Anyway, this is where I'm at, yeah. I'm at this junction, Mount Trumbull, five miles, Toro Weep, 30 miles, holy crap, 30 more miles to go. Um, on my way home, or not on my way home, but on my return trip, I will be going towards Fredonia, Arizona. It's going to be another 83 miles. Um, I think I got enough gas. We'll see when I get to Toro Weep. I think I'm just staying ahead of this, uh, these cloud bursts or this storm, whatever you want to call it. Ahead of the weather. See behind me, you see the rain coming down over there. Change in elevation, change of scenery. A lot of big junipers here. You can see what the water's done. Erosion, yeah, erosion they call it. It's pretty dry right here, so let's keep on going. I think if I stay in ahead of the uh, ahead of this rain cloud, it might catch me, but we'll see. 30 more minutes. That's what it is. Holy shit! I think it caught me. Passes quick. Man, it's coming down. Where's the high ground at? Looks like a lake out here on my right. Shit. Holy crap. Well, at least it's flat. It's not like I'm going to slide into a ditch. I shouldn't speak too soon, though. Water on there on the right. A ditch on the right full of brown water. Come on, green, let up a little. Make me nervous. All right, I'm gonna put this camera down only because uh, I need two hands on the wheel. 